Hello! I am finally getting around to filming this video. I've been trying to film this for ages, I don't know why it's taken me so long to get around to it, but I wanted to film a video showing you how I organise my books. Now, my system isn't completely 100% fine-tuned just yet, it's not totally the way that I want it, but I've got most of the basics down, so I thought that I would just show you how I organise things and then you can let me know in the comments how you organise your books, whether you have any tips for me kind of streamlining things a little bit. I'm actually reasonably happy, there are just a few spots here and there that don't necessarily make a whole lot of sense, so I need to work on those, but for the most part I am very happy with this, so let us get into it. So this is the bookcase in my living room. There's not much organisation to this one actually. Down the bottom we have recipe books, general reference books like dictionaries and things and then just random stuff and then this shelf is all of the books from my childhood so I actually do have a video uh, going through a few of those so if I can remember I will link it for you. And then here are just regular sized paperbacks absolutely no organisation to that whatsoever, it's just the stuff that doesn't fit in the other room. This is my Tolkien collection, uh, most of which I actually haven't read, but I have read The Hobbit. And just underneath Heathy here are a couple of Studio Ghibli art books. Then we have some hardbacks on this shelf here. Mostly those are hardbacks from my teenage years, but you'll see the Ember Quartet is just there because I had a space and the Ember Quartet perfectly filled it, so I put that there. And then on this shelf, just here is all the mass market paperback books that I have, the mass market size, I mean, and again, no real organisation to how those are there, they're just, they're all there together. And then the top shelf is once again mostly paperbacks from my teenage years, but there's also my Schwab collection there because I didn't have anywhere else for it. And behind the Schwab collection are paperbacks that are more recent acquisitions, i.e. since I started booktube, but not favourites, but also not books that I want to necessarily unhaul because they have some sort of sentimental reason behind them, but that's, that's kind of it for this one. This one's mostly really focused on aesthetics because it's in my living room and so you can you can see all of these books when you're sat in my living room. Then we come to the bookshelves just in the entryway to my reading room. So these two shelves here and these two shelves here are my physical TBR of regular sized paperbacks. Then this shelf and this shelf are my Sanderson books, so all of my Sanderson collection and basically I've just got Mistborn on this shelf and mostly Stormlight on this shelf, although I also have Warbreaker and Elantris with the paperbacks of those behind and then Skyward at the end just there. And then we have some other series, so ones that have come in box sets mostly and they're kind of standard size paperbacks. This shelf is something else right now which I'm not going to talk about. This down here is just Harry Potter, we'll skip past that. Um, then we have all of my kind of taller paperbacks and these are actually all in alphabetical order by author surname and it continues down here and then this is the continuation of paperbacks from the other shelf that I'll show you in a minute. This is my manga collection 
just here. No particular organisation within that, just however I could manage to get it to fit, to fit the best. And then the bottom two shelves are all of the middle grade that I have already read and that is also all in alphabetical order by author surname. Here we have my TBR cart, fairly self-explanatory, this is my TBR at the moment. These are the books that I've read and on the bottom shelf I store my many, many book sleeves. Uh, so this is just a quick one. And then we have the bookcase that's over here by the window or door actually. Um, and you can't see all of it because some of it is hidden behind my chair. But at the very top there I keep my hardback TBR and that is all also in alphabetical order by author surname. This shelf you'll see I've cleared a bit of space here now. For now it just has my special edition hardbacks so the Chain of Gold edition I have from Fairy Loot and the Folk of the Air trilogy and How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories also from Fairy Loot. I won't just use that shelf for that purpose but that's there for now. And then these are all of the hardbacks that I have read and they are also in alphabetical order by author surname. And then you can just about see this shelf here. These are all by British authors so it's my UK YA shelf basically and again it's not in any specific order other than just keeping those particular books together so I've got Philip Pullman, Akemi Dawn Bowman, Lauren James, Alice Oseman is over there etc etc and then there are a couple of shelves down here that I don't think you can really see and this chair is really heavy so I don't want to move it and those down there are all of the paperbacks that I have read and they are in alphabetical order and I ran out of space so I then went over to the other shelf which I showed you just a moment ago and then finally we have my stack of subscription box books so this is a mixture of mostly fairy loot but also some Illumicrate there as well sorry that the audio will be a bit more echoey just here because I'm standing in the hallway now uh, I used to have those ordered on the shelf over there in the order that I had received them but I was running out of space over there and so I decided to stack them here and I've stacked them tallest to shortest just because it makes the stack a bit more stable and actually I'm really happy with the way that this looks. I don't know if you can really see it particularly well but I think it actually looks really nice in this entrance way to my reading room. And that's it, that's how I organise my books. As I mentioned at the beginning, hopefully you found this interesting and you can share with me in the comments how you organise your books and don't forget to check the description box and check out Ponderful Books, my new book parcel service with my sister and consider treating yourself to a book that is personally recommended to you by me and my sister and like I said all of that linked in the description bar but that's it for this one. Thank you so so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like this from me then do think about hitting that subscribe button and I hope to see you here again soon. Thanks. Bye.